Shalom Racha, I would like to wish you well. Hashem bless you. Of course, we live today a special, special moment of all what happened, and still we are at war. And of course, we should not be uh, unhappy. We should not give up. We have to be, because my friend, if we carry on living a sad life is not good for us. We, we have to live we, with it. But, Baruch Hashem, Hashem give us mitzvot that we should do. And through those mitzvot, we forget a little bit what's going on so we can, we can serve Hashem. You look, Yaakov Abinu, all his life, he suffered. All his life. All his life. And he, was, he suffered and he was studying Torah. And it's impossible that to study Torah you are not happy. It's impossible. And when I study Torah, I, I promise you, I forget everything. I forget everything. I'm happy. The Torah makes you happy. This is the truth. So it's impossible. So all the, all the life of Yaakov was happy. Even all the problems. Of course, he was unhappy when, uh, when Yosef disappeared. But after he back back to back to, to to happiness as before my friend this is something the happiness this, there is nobody who can take us from us with all the problems we live through it's a uh, we have to, to support them and the only way to support them i promise you i'm sorry to tell you is only through the tefillot Pray to Hashem. Of course, if you all the time you you listen and you the, the news and you look at uh, at the pictures and you look, at, you will be all the time unhappy. And then at the end, uh, you become uh, you become you know the you you will you will kill you know your 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 life. You you kill your your uh, your uh, the the happiness to live. This is something that you should not allow to yourself. I heard a beautiful story. One day, the Mr. Eli Wiesel, Halava Shalom, he was a, a big, uh, a big uh, personality. He was, I know him very well, he was a very, very good man, believed in Hashem. And he went through the Shoah. And uh, one day he was giving a conference. And uh, after the conference, a woman told him, I think uh, that you know my father. My father was with you in the, in the camp of concentration because uh, according to all what, uh, what you tell us, uh, so he asked her, what's his name? So it, she, she said the name of her father. And Mr. Eli Wiesel said, oh, he saved my life. Wow. Everybody was shocked. He saves your life? Can you tell us? Yeah. Your father has a good voice. He used to sing. And sometimes he used to make us happy. So one day I asked him, Mr. Mister, how can you be happy in the concentration camp with all what we see? How can you be happy? I mean, if we did, you say dead people, Jewish people, maybe tomorrow they will kill you. How are you happy? He said, look, the German, they want to destroy us. They want to kill us, but before they kill us, they want to destroy us. Physically, morally, spiritually, they want to take us, from, to take from us, you know, the way of happiness, the, even the life of happiness. They can take from me everything they want. That's one thing they cannot take, the happiness. As long as I am happy, I live. If they take my happiness, I'm dead already. So that they cannot take from me. Baruch Hashem. So Mr. Wiesel said, that's what makes me happy, alive. I took his advice. My friends, today, 
we've all was going through the only thing that can give us a little bit of moral happiness. It's a tefillot, ma'asim tovim, listen to a lecture of Torah, and Hashem bless you. Thank you.